Hey, folks. Oh, okay. Excuse the mess. I'm uh, in Houston for uh, a few days. Uh, from Northwest Arkansas, my bed's unmade. Bunch of shit behind me. Um, I've had a few buddies suggest that I make some videos um, talking about music. Um, not because I'm some sort of musical genius. I'll take these glasses off because of the glare. Oh gosh, the bags. I'm so tired. Um, but I might add a little twist or something that you weren't aware of. Um, I am not a musician. I play drums for 20 years, but I suck. I uh, can play a little guitar. I know some chords, A minor, E minor, C, G, the basic stuff. Um, I can play a little few things on piano, like uh, Low Spark of High Heeled Boys. I can play the beginning of that by traffic. Uh, but anyway, today I'm going to talk about this. This is the recent, and by recent I mean a few years old, of the Led Zeppelin BBC sessions. Um, where to begin? Well, I have owned this stuff for years and years um, on bootleg. Uh, in fact, I was quite a Led Zeppelin bootleg collector, a uh, collector of vinyl, and then CDs when they started coming out on CDs. I'm going to set this down. Um, uh, and I had, there. there's basically some, uh, I think, four BBC sessions that were studio sessions, and then there are two concerts, one from the Playhouse Theater, June 27th, 1969, Another one from the Paris Theater uh, on April 1st, 1971. I think it was originally scheduled for March 25th, 1971, which is my actual birth day. Um, but they postponed it because I think Robert Plant was sick or something. Anyway, um, the sessions are, are, are great. I mean, it's great to have all this stuff. So I don't want to sound like I'm bitching too much. But I'm going to bitch a little bit. Um, the the sessions themselves are really good. There's uh, a few that the sound is a little off, but what you have to remember is these the people producing and mixing this stuff were kind of doing it on the fly. Uh, I I know like Jimmy Page has said something about the guitar overdub on Traveling Riverside Blues being just super loud. Um, so there's things like that. The mixes are a little off. There are moments where it gets really loud and then it gets soft and loud. And I didn't really notice that until listening to this set. Um, but there's, then you get into the, um, what I want to talk about very briefly is the 1969 show. Um, I had that uh, on bootleg vinyl uh, and I had the whole show on one album it's I think 52 minutes there was like a an interview for about six or seven minutes that was cut out of the um, of the bootleg they released it on a Best Buy um, three discs issue of this BBC sessions when it first came out in whatever it was 95 96 I don't know um, and there was three interviews on there, one of which was the interview that I think was before Dazed and Confused, which um, it's not on here, uh, and I had never heard it before. Um, the one thing that's disappointing is everybody knows that Zeppelin stole um, riffs, stole whole songs, even Whole Lot of Love was a uh, Willie Dixon song. Um, um, there are sections of uh, In My Time of Dying. Um, they, they seem to, in the earlier days, still, you know, Lemon Song is basically Killing Floor, uh, remade and, and given a new title. Uh, and he takes that one line from... Um, 
Traveling the Riverside Blues, I believe, by Robert Johnson. Um, anyway, there are a few cuts, and they're kind of a bummer because there's the original version of uh, Communication Breakdown. There's a bit where Jimmy Page is playing with a, kind of a wah-wah, playing a little bit of funk. Uh, rhythm and Robert Plant sings a few lines from It's Your Thing by the Isley Brothers. Well, they've cut it out of this, probably because they don't want to pay the Isley Brothers or which I'm assuming the Isley Brothers actually wrote that song. So they probably didn't want to pay them royalties. Um, so there's a few moments like that. Um, they've cut out uh a section of how many more times at the beginning um, where uh, Robert Plant introduces the band. Um, they, uh, that, that's, those are the, the two main issues I can think of. Um, but I, I just love that little section in communication breakdown so much. So this was kind of a bummer. Um, now, the, the big show is the pa Paris Theater show. Um, from what I, I don't know the, um, the, uh, how many people the Paris Theater uh, seated, um, but in the bootleg version, you can tell it's a very small crowd, um, maybe 500 people, probably, probably maybe even less. Um, but on here, Paige, who I'm assuming it was him because he produced it, uh, really beefed up the crowd noise uh, a little, kind of loses its charm a little bit. Um, but you still get, uh, apparently Robert Plant was really nervous and wasn't happy with his performance, but um, uh, he, he was in fine voice uh, at this time. It wasn't until late 72 when he started losing that high range that he is known for in the early days. Um, uh, the one other thing is uh, the original issue left out some of the songs. Well, instead of um, putting them back in the order in which they were performed, they just added another disc or so. And so it's kind of you know, you don't get the flow of the performance as you should. Um, now, what I've done is I've had a friend uh, rip this album for me, and I've put it back in the order in which they perform the stuff. So, you know, not a major deal. Uh, but anyway, um, if you're a Zeppelin fan, um, it's uh, a better... It's it, the, the vinyl, to me, it sounds really warm, uh, better than the, the CD version that I originally owned, and certainly better than the How the West Was Won, which is Caveman, uh, Kevin Shirley, nicknamed Caveman, was involved in mixing it. He just, he's terrible. Uh, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but I don't like anything he does. Uh, but anyway, so that's kind of my first little video. Um, um, I thought I was going to start with Queen 2, but maybe next video will be Queen 2. And um, hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.